Hey everybody, welcome back to the Blast Naldrin. The Blast Naldrin. The Blast Naldrin. By Nier and Online and Bisney. And Bisney. You grab yeah. the rope and go blown it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I can't anymore. <laughs> Hi everybody. Welcome back to the Black Cauldron. We're playing so, a video game. We are. We we broke into the castle. Uh, you mm-hmm. are at the base of that that the mountain where the castle sits. Of the sits. Eagle Mountains. Yeah. It looks like a challenge, which you know because you just did it in the other direction. You got it. You know it. Yeah. You show yeah, it. We, it's we just it. visited the Horned King's castle. Boy, uh, did we. previously the castle of uh, someone else. Um, and uh, we got a magic sword. Useless. And uh, no, well, no. I mean, it helped us. To it did, escape but the not in the not in the classical sense of a magical sword. Yeah. Uh, and now that we got the magic sword, we have to leave the castle uh, in order to find the black cauldron. Yeah. Apparently, we got to do that, eh? Well, I mean, that's kind of our whole quest, right? But um, so, yeah. Some context. In uh, The Black Cauldron, the Disney film. Um, I'm just going to pause for a second here. Uh, so the so Taryn, our young protagonist. Yes. Um, yeah, is, uh, I guess, kidnapped or might make his way into the castle. Uh, I, it's been a very long time since I've seen the film. Yes. Uh, and uh, get, finds the magic sword with the help of, of Island Wee. Um mm-hmm. And uh, and is actually joined by Island Wee and and Fludor Flynn, I guess mm. I forget. It. Yeah, Fludor. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so they kind of continue on their quest, but they they escape the the Horn King's castle, and uh, they make their way through the forest looking for the uh, black cauldron, and then eventually run into this uh, this hut with witches in it. Yes, and Taryn is is uh, basically required to trade the magic sword for the black cauldron, and that's what we got to do now. But if you haven't watched the film, you really don't know the order of operations. And so, if we had not, um... oh shit! Whoa, almost... you could you could <laughs> almost... actually. I'm pretty sure you could have gone in and uh, well. Whoa. Sprinkling the fairy dust over your head makes you feel as light as a feather. Looking down, you see a floating in midair. About a foot off the ground! Ah! Whee! Up yours, gravity! Whoa. (laughs) As the spell wears off, you head for solid ground. Yeah, I think you could have gone into the castle and, uh, and you begin walking again. I think you could have found the Horned King and, like... Oh, yeah. I could have, but I would have lost because the yeah. Horned King cannot be defeated without destroying the, the Black Cauldron. Exactly. Right? Yes. So, so we know. need to get the Black Cauldron. And it is the witches that are in possession of the Black Cauldron. And supposedly Dalbin told us about this at some point, although I sure as hell can't remember. I so. don't remember that shit. <laughs> so that is kind of the situation that, they're, that we're in. So I could have... Before ever going to visit the the Horn King's castle, gone here, but I'd have had no way to survive the upcoming um, transaction. Yeah, you, you needed you needed that sword. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, eh? Oh yeah. I I hit the button to save the game, but uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on, everyone. We have we'll a technical right difficulty. Oh, it's technical panic. difficulties. Oh, Yay! Jesus. Oh, okay. We're yeah, fine. All right. We're fine. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> the save just took an, an inordinately long amount of time. I can I'm understand sure that. Why. It's a, it's a, you know, a forty-year-old game. I guess. But you're a forty-year-old man. And I you know. Don't take that long to save. I take a long time to save. Trust me. Do you? Oh, okay. I do. You cautiously open the door to this strange house. Hoose. This strange, dirty place is in the middle of Morva Marsh. Morva Marsh sounds like uh, 
like a seventies uh, singer songstress. <laughs> More of a marsh. With my house is in a swamp. Listening to the chest, you hear the faint rabbit, 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 rabbit. So you can't open the chest. Oh, I can totally open the chest. That's what I have to do. But I, I want to investigate this room here because why I wouldn't you? Before. Look at that. <laughs> You're inside an unusual house in Morva Marsh. This room is filled with pots, kettles, and cauldrons of all sizes. Why oh are there so my. many cauldrons? Whole Your throat is dry. Thing. You're yeah, inside. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, Morva Marsh. So uh, there's many black cauldrons. Well, and there's a lot all... of cauldrons, yes. Yeah, they're all just hanging out here. Yeah. No, oh, wait, no, okay. None of these None. Cauldrons that I'm seek. None. None of them are the ones you seek. Yeah. It's well, they don't, it doesn't, they don't have the right amount of filigree. They don't. They're not. They're not right. They don't mm. match the historical texts. <laughs> I wonder how explicit of, of like uh, talking about the the drawings and what have you on yeah. the magic cauldron there are. I gotta, I gotta know. Is there somebody better suited for this job? I know I've asked this time and time again, but than Terran? Yeah, this kid can't be it, right? Oh, almost anybody, I'm sure. Rabbit, rabbit. Maybe even Dalbin himself. Yeah, anyone. Oh, yeah. up yours, frog. Yeah. Those frogs' faces have a nearly human look. <laughs> Whoa! Said very rhythmically. Oh, I know that sound. Hey! It's my <laughs> nanan. A shrieking voice pierces the air. What's going on here? Who are you? Releasing our guests like this? Perhaps you should join them. <laughs> mm, Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Orwin, Ordu, and Orgok appear to be more than mildly upset with your thoughtlessness. They prefer to keep their, formerly, human guests in that chest. As one does. As one does. I'm Terran, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin. Dalbin the mystic has sent me on a quest to recover the evil black cauldron, which is <laughs> missing from his land. Did you just say cauldron? <laughs> Dalbin thought that you might have this cauldron. If so, I only hope that you would be kind enough to give it to me in the name of the Great Dalbin. Silly little pig boy, Orwin ex responds with a cackle. <laughs> you know little of the ways of witches. We never give anything away. We only bargain. The truth is... We may have no cauldrons. We may have a cauldron, or we may have the cauldron. But you needn't worry, because you'll never know, since you'll be a frog. <laughs> Did they say, since you'll be a frog? <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna save my game here. Good call, right before we become a frog forever. Absolutely. You can't do you can't anything. Can't do here. anything. Okay. Well, I guess let's let's offer them some cookies. You promised to eat just one cookie and quickly break your promise. Oh, I just <laughs> ate all the cookies. Okay, that's fine. Um, how about <laughs> You say firmly. But nothing happens. Uh, Play some music for them? Beautiful. Good idea. Fluter Flam's harp probably sounded beautiful in his hands, but not in yours, you stupid. I I feel like I've stopped them from... Yeah, they don't know what to do now. No, okay. That fine. doesn't help now. All right, so we've tried basically everything about the magic sword, so let's just hear here, you say, I, I offered my most prized possession, a sword 
with magic so powerful, it once belonged to the good king who built the great castle, which the Horned King has taken over. That that doesn't feel like it reads. So no. powerful that it belonged to somebody important. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. He's not good at the talking. Your logic doesn't quite fit. Nope. But, hey, why not? Thank you, Terry, says Ordu. This is exactly what we want. Now, step outside with us, and you may have your black cauldron. Roll credits! Oh, there it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Leisure Suit Larry. That's what I was singing. Orwin laughs. <laughs> now you have the black cauldron! You have been seeking, but it won't do you any good. Ha <laughs> ha! There's only one way to stop the evil power of the Black Cauldron, duckling, croaks Orgok. A living being must jump into the cauldron of its own free will. Unfortunately, anyone who does will never emerge alive. Again. <laughs> Ordu cackles. Now you've lost your magic sword and have the cauldron, but there's nothing you can do to destroy it. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it normally. Like, what makes it so powerful? I don't know. Yeah. I'm still un- uncertain as to why Henwin was important. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Farewell, Terran, screeched the witches. There's nothing you can do now, now that the Gwythaint has seen the Black Cauldron. Why faint? No! I could just hop right in. Even though you attack the Black Cauldron with great force, your efforts truly fail in every possible way. It seems totally immune to your efforts. Why, you can't even make a dent in its harsh black shell, .org. You're screwed. <laughs> Let's key it. Wait a key minute. Key it up. Keys. There's no right, reason to use the keys. That Can doesn't I help now. I want to shank the dragon. Shank the dragon. Wow. Wow. The, the, it got a lot smaller when he left. Lame. Well, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> well, shit. And the the witch has just kind of left, so... And here you are on this island all alone. Mm-hmm. Do you need to use fairy dust to get back? I don't I know. Do. I do need to use fairy dust to get back. Maybe I'll use my fairy dust now. Do it! Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spring the fairy dust over your head makes you feel as light as a feather. Looking down, you see you're floating in midair about a foot off the ground. <laughs> Yay! I'm also now. floating backwards. Creepy. Yep. As the spell wears off, you head for solid ground. Now, I was pronouncing pretty and wrong this whole time. Is it pretty? Pr- Is it not Prydain? It's not Prydain. It was actually the I becomes uh, before the A, apparently. Oh. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh, Violier. Violier pointed that they out. Know. They know. For sure. So, what? You could just walk in here? Lame. Oh yeah, totally. So that was just pointed out to us. So I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Well, no, okay. but I think it's. Yeah, I, I still am pretty sure it's Prydain. Like, you want to Google that while, while I'm, while I'm making my way back up to the Horn King's castle again? All right. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, I think I went to the It is Prydain. Yeah. D-A-I-N. Yep. Oh my god. Maybe it's spelled pretty in, in West Prydain. Yeah, the West We've already the established that those guys have just fucking crazy rules. It's true. The Northerners, the Southerners. The Southerners. The Southerners. Yeah. The damn Southerners. Right. Well, I'm just going to take a quick break here under um, Prostate Exam Rock. 
Good idea. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we're just about out of time, so I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, we will see you uh, for most likely the finale of uh, no, man. The Black Cauldron. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Can you believe it? I'm forced to believe it because You're if I don't... You're forced to. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't, I'll have no idea what I am currently physically doing, and that will cause uh, pain. All right, fair enough. Uh, yep. Join us next time for the stunning possible conclusion of the Black Cauldron. Whoa, oh, this your is intense. I get, I get I some, water. some water. I love how you ate your last cookie, too. I did. I ate all of my cookies all at once. You got bread, I am though. I'm going to just pig out on my food wallet, though. Pigging out on your food wallet. Bye, everybody. Right. Bye, everyone.